yet another statue today. This has been one I've been anticipating for a very long time. It's the Pop Culture Shock One Third Scale Sub Zero from the Classic Line. Looks like I got number 13 of 350. So in here at the very top, you have the COA, pair of gloves, and instruction manual showing how to go ahead and attach Sub-Zero to the base and the spine to the hand. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take this bad boy out. The box is more or less just the Sub-Zero on the front and the back, just blue textured with a little Sub-Zero and MK symbol. I am super excited to get this. You know, uh, PCS generally takes a very long time to get their statues in hand. I paid for the shipping on this back in February. Here we are, end of May, and I'm finally getting it. So, you know, it took them over three months to ship my statue. It sucks, but uh, luckily, Pop Culture Shock recently just changed management. Jerry Macaluso, who is the CEO, has stepped down and basically passed off the business responsibility to a new CEO. And in doing such, I have seen a big change in their whole customer service. They're developing a new website. They got a new Facebook group, the PCS Collectors Group, as well as just <clears throat> all the necessary changes that really needs to happen is gonna happen. You know, shipping a statue within reasonable time after pain, you know, decrease in production time, better overall customer service, better website. So <clears throat> definitely a lot to look forward to with PCS now that this is happening. It was very much needed in PCS just because, you know, Jerry had too much on his hands and he couldn't handle it that well. And if he would have continued his pace, he would have just lost too much business. So this is very much a welcome change. And I'm very happy to have PCS finally changing. I am very excited for Sub-Zero though. <clears throat> I just got back from a six hour drive. So I'm pretty tired, but I've been anticipating this all week since it was delivered last Saturday. Alrighty, so let's take the base out first. Not too heavy, obviously, because I know it has light up. Here's the base. On the bottom, 13 of 350. <clears throat> nice blood splatter. Alright, so let's take out the body now. Now, I know some people have had issues with their Sub-Zero light up not functioning correctly. So I am hoping mine does not have the same issue. <clears throat> so here's the body, very similar to the Scorpion. I will need to do several adjustments to it, but for now, let's just put it in. <clears throat> All right, that fits in nice and snug. Nice heavy body. Next, we'll put the face. Very nicely looking face. I can't really see it too well. I will have to do some adjusting later. <clears throat> now I'm gonna be displaying, of course, the skull head and his extra hand. Because you know, I'm a big fan of that here is the ice ball hand. Looks pretty sweet. And that fits in nice. So here's just the open hand if you don't want to display the extra skull head. Mm. 
And here's the skull head. It looks super cool. <clears throat> looks awesome. I love it. The only other part is the AC adapter. It comes here in this box. So I will have to test that out in the display room and I'll go ahead and just put the skull head on separately. I don't want to mess with it at this angle, but here is the Sub-Zero. So let's go ahead and get him set up in the statue room. Just set up Sub-Zero here in the MK statue room and it looks phenomenal. I got that custom art print behind it, just like with Scorpion. And as you can see, I have Reptile to the right, which I will put him there and they will really be the centerpiece to my MK collection the three one-third scales. For Goro one-third, I'm actually gonna put him in my theater room to not distract from any of these guys because he's so big. So these three will be the main attraction for MK in this room and probably just in the room in general. So let's check out Sub-Zero first. Let's look at the base. So this is more or less a Sub-Zero themed base. This symbol is the symbol that Sub-Zero has on his chest in MK9. It's more or less uh, like his clan's symbol. So it has a gray and blue look. Also like basically looks like snow. Quite cool. You now snow on the bottom, snow on the top. I like it. I liked, I've always thought this space looks pretty sweet. Now on top is more or less just snow icy look. And then it does have a bunch of blood splatter more on the left side because of that skull head and the blood has a nice glossy look almost looks like a puddle right there you know it's darker blood splatter everywhere i think the blood application looks great and then on sub-zero himself there's his shin guards also has lots of blood and then the body i mean this really is an exact replica of scorpion just you know, Sub-Zero colors. You know, the material all looks the same. You know, this also has the blood splatter, not as prominent as Scorpion because it's blue. And I can tell you this, you know, from early pictures on, you know, the blue looked really vibrant. Uh, looking at it now, it looks more closer to the prototype seen in person. So, you know, it does match more closer to the prototype than early pictures do suggest. So those people's cameras or I don't know, the lighting, but, you know, the color is a darker blue. It's not a vibrant blue. So here is the skull hand, which is my preference of choice. I think it looks awesome. You know, it has tons of blood. The eyes look super cool. If you can see the detail in there, the teeth, I really like it. You know, it's an excellent sculpt paint job. His hand's bloody from holding it. Looks awesome. Now there's his hand guard, has a little blood. Blood all over, which it, you know, it should be bloody because, you know, it's freaking MK. It needs to be bloody. There's the arm, looks fantastic. Has blood splatter, veins, nice muscle detail. You know, that's where you get a lot of the details, like in the arms and the face. Because the outfit is just mixed media and it's simplistic because it's MK1. It's very nostalgic. It's not the most detailed costume, but... If you look at the detail of the other parts that they can really sculpt and add detail, it looks really good. Ice ball looks great. You know, his hand shows like how it's like frozen because he's creating the ice ball and he generated the ice out of his hand. So that looks cool and that does light up and I'll show you that in a second. And here's the face. Show that to you. Very nice. I need to adjust that a little bit. I've done no adjusting to this face the little adjusting to the body more or less to fix a little bit of the robes and cushion it out that face looks fantastic i will fix it and puff it up a little bit but even just straight out of the box it looks fantastic i'm very pleased and happy with this let me show you all the light up feature now so the light up is an ac adapter here in the back simply press a button here and this lights up boom Definitely looks really cool with the light up feature. Let me just show you from a distance. All right, there you can see it. 
yeah, the light up feature is really cool because it really brings out the blue color of the ice ball. Where when it's not lit up, it's more, it's a different shade of blue. But lit up, it looks really cool. Mine has no issues with the light up function. It worked immediately. I don't have to press anything down. So I will just press the button to turn that off. I will be switching out Scorpion's head for the skull head because I want to display that. And I want to get Reptile to display the lizard head so they can all have different heads and different looks. But on each of their own, they're all amazing statues. These one-third scales are really phenomenal. PCS definitely did an amazing job. And I'm very happy with it. You know, I, I don't have any issues with Sub-Zero. I give it a 10 out of 10 statue. The only issue I had was waiting forever to get it. But outside of that, the statue itself is a work of art. PCS did an amazing job and it looks phenomenal in my collection. I'm super excited now to get Reptile to complete the three ninjas. And I think it looks super cool having Reptile there. And then Shao Kahn next to Raiden. Kintaro will be shipping soon and he's going to go right here between the girls. And also Quan Chi, which for now just plays right there to the right of Raiden. There you have it, though, folks. Uh, this is the Pop Culture Shock one-third scale Sub-Zero statue. Awesome, awesome statue limited to 350. And I have number 13. Nice, nice low number. For Scorpion, I have 15 out of 250. So I'm hoping Reptile, I can get 14 out of 350. That way I got 13, 14, and 15. That'd be pretty sweet. We shall see, though. Let me go ahead and show y'all Scorpion now with the skull head next to Sub-Zero. Boom. That looks so sick. Scorpion with his skull head light up base. Sub-Zero light up ice ball. Absolutely sick. Let me show y'all the entire MK collection. All right. There's the MK9 section, excuse my PSVR gear, the MK Classic, that's pretty much it for now. I have 13 statues on pre-order with Pop Culture Shock, pretty much every MK statue out. Here's the Psycho Sub-Zero with a ripped head as you can see, but you know this new one is just so much cooler. Awesome presence, just super, super cool. Looks so awesome next to Scorpion. Two of my favorite statues in my collection, for sure. And Reptile will look awesome once he comes in with all his awesome features and switch out parts. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video review of Sub-Zero from Pop Culture Shock Collectibles, one-third scale. Like, comment, subscribe, and if you haven't already, also join the Pop Culture Shock Facebook group, PCS Collectors. It's a great statue group with uh, Ant, who is their new like customer service management. He is uh, constantly posting updates, pictures, giving us all the juicy information. So it's definitely nice to have him participating in that group. I hope you all had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend and have a great day.